Hey everyone, today's it is about when you get into a car accident while you are on the phone with him. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Let's get going. Bakugo Katsuki. He will freak out. What the hell just happened to you? Basically, you were just talking on the phone with him, and then he heard a scream. He heard a really loud crash. Maybe some horns too. And then the line cut off. Oh, that's when you connected the points together. Horns. Scream. Also a car with a crash. Car crash. That's exactly what it was. You were in a car crash. It did a few minutes for him to actually understand the situation for this information to sink in and then he was fumbling to get his coat his phone with him and the keys after he was done he went to his car and drove off to where you were he knew exactly where you should be right now since you were just telling him Talk to him about your day as usual. When he went there, he saw a lot of people surrounding a car that was yours. With people carrying someone to get them on the bed. Um, it actually took him some time to notice that this someone was you. You were the one who was being carried. You were the one who was covered in blood. And then he ran off to the bed, kneeling next to it and taking your hands in his. Lion, wake up for me, please. Please don't do this. They shoo him out of the ambulance and then drive off. He follows right after them, going to the same hospital and going to one of the doctors immediately. Is something wrong with them? Please tell me. Um, I cannot tell you now, sir. We will be able to tell you later. But they're my partner. Okay, you should tell me right now. I'm afraid to tell you, sir, that we really can't. I'm sorry. And then, the guy was running back to his place, which was the emergency room. The place you were in. That was when he noticed that you were actually in the emergency room. Which made him panic even more. He fumbled to get his phone out of his pockets. Once he finally got it out, he went to his contacts. Immediately, pressing on Kirishima. Um, hey. Bakabro, are you alright? You usually never call. Look. Kirishima. Kirishima? That's even more weird. Come on. It's not time for your jokes. I want you to come here. Um, where exactly are you? I am at. He told him where exactly he was. Oh, you're in the hospital? Why, what's happened? I'll tell you when you come. Please, just come fast. He needed someone to be next to him, as much as he doesn't like to admit. He will actually always be scared whenever he's alone. He always knew that you'll be next to him, but now that you're in the hospital, he needed someone. So of course, it was going to be his best friend. Thirteen minutes later, and Kirishima was barging through the hospital doors, immediately Going to Bakugo's side. So wait, what exactly happened? They were on the phone with me. They were talking happily about their day. But then, a car came out of nowhere and hit them. They're saying it was an accident and that the other drivers also hurt, but I couldn't care less. How dare he? Hey, bro. It's not his fault, okay? Maybe they surprised him too. 
Don't you dare talk about Wyatt. I'm sorry. Look, what the heck should I do? Do you think Wyatt will be alright? Yes, bro. Wyatt will always be good. Wyatt is strong, okay? If they can keep up with you, then they will definitely be good. I promise. Even though he didn't know if he will break his promise or not. Not like it was in his hand anyway. But he still had to reassure him. So he did everything he could to do so. Kirshi made you row. He will sob as soon as he doesn't hear you replying to him. He was just talking to you and then he heard a crash. But the line didn't cut off this time. It was still on, but he was just hearing screams and something like fire. He really didn't know, but he knew it was not good. He was sobbing really loudly, scared that something had happened to you because obviously something did. So after a few hours, after he was informed and was in the hospital, he still was sobbing. But with his friends next to him this time, they were trying to reassure him, telling him that you were going to be okay. But that would not work on him, especially not Kirishima. A lot of people had left him in his life, and he actually wasn't looking forward to losing another one of them. Maybe one of the most important ones in his life too. You were his life. His heart. He's everything. He couldn't even live without you and he knew it. He loves you so much and he doesn't know that. Maybe, yes, one day you will leave, but he doesn't like thinking about the fact that maybe he could stay behind. He doesn't want to leave you. He doesn't think he'll be able to do so. Maybe you can live without him, but not the opposite. Never the opposite. He waited and waited until doctors told him that you were actually okay, but nobody could visit you. Yet. He still was the happiest person alive. He was so happy, grateful, and proud of you for staying. Proud of you for not leaving him behind yet. Yes, maybe something like this is bound to happen. But he just wishes it will never happen. Or maybe happen to him first. Thank you guys for listening. Hope you liked the video. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Goodbye. Love you all so much.